My name is Doreen and I'm here to tell you about the amazing work we are doing for the community of Pagenya Refugee Settlement in Ajumani District. We are Youth Empowerment Foundation and YEF is a refugee-led organization. We are supporting local communities to solve their problems through skills development, technology, media and most recently a youth space. Imagine building a huge house like this one without any bricks or timber. Pagenya Satellite was built using rammed earth technology like maram, clay soil, stone dust, river sand and some little cement. You must be wondering why we, we did choose uh, this kind of building. There are about three major reasons why we did so and one is that the rammed earth technology helps to conserve environment because you're using materials that are within that environment. For example, in our case, we had to use materials that we could be able to get from within uh, the settlement of uh, Pagirinya. We didn't also have to go and cut down trees because we didn't need timber and then we did not really need to take a lot of time burning bricks that were of no need to us. And then also because in our case we're combining uh, a design of a hut and that of a bungalow, we were able to create a one single building that uh, has proper aeration, proper lighting and many spaces where we could receive uh, the natural sun and that's our uh, natural lighting. So with that we're able to or we are able to reduce on the cost of uh, electricity. With uh, this kind of uh, a housing prototype, you're able to allow proper ventilation and thus you're able to keep away bacteria and virus and that helps to minimize the spread of airborne diseases. It's a real uh, good experience to me, me and my community that learned like to build this kind of a house. And this house specifically uh, will address so many issues. Basically, uh, people will learn also to help uh, the vulnerables, uh, the PSN, people with uh, special needs. Uh, Building this kind of house is uh, cost effective and it is cheaper because we have all the material within us and to also give uh, rooms and uh, it will also create a job opportunity for the young people who have these new skills and they can use it and uh, build more house that can help and the community will benefit from it. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm Kolobrejo Martin, I'm the RWS2 chairman of. Pagrinya Refugee Settlement. Uh, about the, the house that Yev has built, I am so much impressed in the way, of course, the, the, the fashion. First of all, the fashion itself alone has made me so happy because it is a rare fashion that we have in our community. And the two, I was very impressed because the materials, the resources that Yev have used to build up this the house are resources which are within our location, which are friendly to our environment. They don't search everywhere, I mean somewhere very far, but it is within. These are resources that uh, uh, our community are seeing as if they don't have value. We always uh, neglect them, but when EF came into uh, and implemented this program, I think it is something very, very important and it is very interesting to us, the leaders. Uh, this couple with the situation where we are in right now, uh, at our refugee setup, we were having some partners like uh, LWF that support to build houses for PSNs, persons with a special need. Uh, however, UN Sierra made it very clear that there's serious uh, reduction in the funding that they are receiving. So it has affected our people so much. But now when EF brought in the program of using the local uh, available resources which are within our community. I think people were much inspired and I think if this is to go ahead and I mean the knowledge is to be given out to other people, we will not have those gaps but that is what uh, EF has done much and the people are inspired, people are very happy, they still need more. Okay, our mission is uh, to promote uh, IT skills for refugees youth who are in the settlement and um, to provide for them access to employment. But also we envision that uh, the responsive uh, open source modular housing prototype would help us create a community space where people can meet, connect, interact 
and most importantly learn and benefit from our projects.